Hi everyone, it's Veronica and happy Sunday to you all. Um, I'm not sure if you can tell in the lighting here, but some of you might notice that I just had my hair done recently. So I got my hair done yesterday. Um, I went to a new um, hair salon and a new hairdresser, someone I hadn't gone to before. And um, I had him actually darken my hair, which surprised me because usually I get like tons of highlights all over, but I was really tired of getting highlights that started at my root. I have been so unhappy for a really long time with leaving the salon and having highlights all through the top of my head because I really don't like that look anymore. I like to have something darker at the top that fades into a lighter color because I just think it looks more natural. So it's kind of like I like the look of what your hair looks like when it's grown out. So um, he basically went through and colored my roots with like a with a a color that's a few shades darker than my natural color and then he pulled that color through some of the pieces and then he went through and teased the ends of my hair at the front and added like blonde tips so I don't know if you can really tell in this lighting but um, you can see some of the lightness sort of throughout the hair in real life um, so this is gonna be um, a haul video of course um, and I apologize in advance I'm like super exhausted today and I slept and everything but I'm so tired so if I look tired that's why um, but I am excited to share with you some of the things I've gotten these past few weeks And the first thing I'm going to show you is a necklace that I got from Bobble Bar and I had never um, shopped there before But I kind of saw it on a lot of different blogs and everyone was talking about it So I finally went to check it out and I ended up getting this um, This is called the princess bib in lime. So it's these beautiful emerald stones with um, with gold of course and um you know it's just a necklace and you wear it and it's kind of like a really nice bold statement necklace and I just really loved the deep emerald color I love the shape um, you know this is kind of like a spin-off of the J crew necklace that's about retails for about $150 um, and but a lot of websites are selling those necklaces for much cheaper um, I got this one for $28 because I signed up for like an email promotion where you get $10 off your first purchase. So I thought that was a great deal. And they do send a handwritten note with every um, order that they ship out, which I thought was really sweet. So um, yeah, now I'll um, show you a top that I got. So I actually have a friend who's also a Houston blogger and she hosted a trunk show in her home last weekend um, for a brand called Hunter Dixon. Um, so it's called Hunter Dixon, New York. And I got this gorgeous um, blouse. And it kind of has little buttons that go down. It has like the collarless look, but it has a little button here. And I know it looks, it's looking really bright on my screen, so I'm not sure how it's going to pick up once I upload this. But it, it's a very similar blood orange color to the color of the Parker dress that I showed in my last haul video. And everybody had thought that that color looked really great on me, so I thought I'd buy another piece in that color that I can sort of wear more often because that's more of a party dress. And this blouse I can wear to work. Um, so I really like that. And then the back is just plain. And um, Hunter Dixon has really nice clothing. I'll link them below if you want to check out their site. Um, and then I picked up a few things from the J. Crew sale. And one of the things I got were these flats. And I'm really excited because I had actually ordered these previously in another order and I accidentally ordered them in a size too large. So I went back and got a size 10, which is my normal size. So these are the J. Crew um, ballerina flats. Like I said, they're size 10 and the color is called Gallery Green. So that's what they look like. And they're just super cute, super feminine with the little bow. They're really comfortable and lightweight. So I just thought I'd get a flats in a cute color because I just have my Tory Burch ones that I wear. So I thought it'd be fun to have something in a bright color. And then I picked these up. Um, I got these in store. So these were originally $45 a piece and I got them for $12.99 plus an additional, um, 30% off and it has a little heart tag which I thought was super cute um, and then you just open it up and it's it's just like a little zipper compartment I'm actually not sure what I'm gonna use these for um, I'm probably gonna keep the red one and I'm gonna have the tan one to just have as a gift to give like someone along with another gift I give like for a birthday or something I just thought since it was such a good deal and these are nice real leather it would be nice to have um, two so I'm gonna keep the red one probably and give away the tan one so I'm excited about these. They're really cute. And for that price, you can't really beat it. Um, what else did I get at J.Crew? So two more things. This is going to be kind of a quicker video. So J.Crew has this dress called the Lucille dress. And it's a really pretty feminine, shapely kind of dress. And it finally went on sale. It was originally $168. And um, 
it finally went on sale. So I got this um, green one. So this is the green version. And it's um, it was on sale for 99 plus 30% off. So that's the dress. It's just really simple. It has sort of like a little tiny, tiny cap sleeve. Um, I did get this in a six. I could have gone down to a four. They didn't have a four in my store. Um, I'm happy with the way the six fits. I think it's nice not to have it like super, super tight. But um, if there was a four, I might have bought the four. But since all that was available was a six, I got the six. And I really like the way it fits. And I do have pictures on my blog of me wearing this if you're interested. And then the back is just simple. So this is a really nice, simple dress um, to wear to work. If the length is appropriate. You know, the color is really a nice, bright pop of color. Um, and I love that dress so much that I actually ended up ordering it online in the yellow lace. So it's the exact same silhouette, exact same size, exact same dress, only the fabric is the yellow lace. And it's very bright and sunny, and I absolutely love it. I haven't worn this one yet. I, obviously, the tag is still on. Um, and again, that's the back. And I think this one was on sale, so it was originally the same, 168 and it was on, or maybe it was 188 and it was on sale for, um, I think it was 119 plus an additional 30% off. So J.Crew has... They don't have as many sales as a lot of other retailers, but when they do have a sale, um, it's a great time. You know, if you can wait it out, if you don't need a dress for like a special occasion or something, but you really like it, wait like three to four weeks and it usually comes down in price. So I really like that one. I just, I don't own anything in that bright yellow color. So I figured it would be nice to sort of try something different. And the last thing I want to share with you, oh wait, there's one more thing. So I bought this Essie nail polish in the color Mojito Madness. Okay, so this color I have mixed feelings about. I put it on my nails um, last week to go to work and I felt like this color was almost a little too green for the work, like for the work environment I work in. Um, when I looked down at my nails, it just didn't feel like appropriate. And I know that sounds crazy because like I've worn like mint candy apple and I've worn, um, you know, um, lilacism and like bright colors and bright pinks. For some reason, this particular shade of green, which I'll zoom in on, it just didn't feel like as good on my nails. So I might try this on my toes and I might give it away. I don't know. Um, so I would skip this. I would skip mint mojito unless you're, or it's, I'm sorry, mojito madness. I would skip it unless you like really, really love this color. I think um, mint candy apple is a better alternative overall. It's more pastel y, whereas this is more like a true bright green. It does apply well though. The formula on this one is excellent. So that is a plus. Um, and the last thing I'm going to show you is something I'm super excited about. And y'all should be excited about it too, because I'm actually going to be doing a giveaway. And Chi sent me this. So Chi, the company is based in Houston, Furrick Systems, and um, they contacted me to ask me to test out their new touchscreen hair dryer. So it literally has a screen, like an iPad, and you touch it and you adjust the heat settings, the speed settings, and the ionic settings. And they asked me if I wanted to test it out and do a giveaway on my blog. So of course I said yes. Um, I love... I think a quality hair dryer is probably the best thing you can invest in for your hair. Um, it protects your hair, your hair dries faster, your, it styles more easily, it doesn't damage it as much. You know, it's still heat, but you really are more in control of it. And I've been using this all week and I absolutely love it. Like I, I do, I mean, I have an Eltrum hair dryer that I bought, you know, six months ago or so. And I, I really like that hair dryer, but this, and I almost thought that this one wouldn't be as good because it wasn't as loud and it didn't seem like as powerful as my Elchem, but I realized it's because the technology of this allows it to sound softer than my other hair dryer because I guess it's more sophisticated or something, I don't know, but it dries my hair just as quickly, if not more, than my other hair dryer, and I absolutely love it. And it's also much more lightweight. Like I almost was surprised at how lightweight this is and the other great um, feature is the cord. I mean, it, it goes on for days. Like, I'm still not at the bottom. <laughs> Here we go. So the cord is super, super long on this. And I like that because sometimes I like to like walk from my master bathroom into my master bedroom and like, you know, watch the Today Show while I'm blow drying my hair and, 
you know, or like check on my dog and peek out of the room. So I like that it has a super long cord um, where you can kind of walk across your bathroom. And overall, I just think this is great. It does, so it remembers your like favorite heat setting. It remembers from the last time you turned it off. So you're not like always having to adjust it. And the touch screen is just cool. It looks, I don't know, it's really fun to kind of press the buttons and like, you know, it's like an iPad, like you slide it over for your heat setting and everything. And I, I guess one of the best parts is that for a dryer that's so advanced, it definitely has um, that lightweightness to it. And when you're blow drying your hair, like I do with the round brush and you're really styling it, it helps that it's lightweight because your arm can get really, really tired from doing a blowout. So overall, I'm just in love with this hair dryer. Um, I couldn't say, I couldn't rave more about it. And I'll, I will do an official review on my blog when I post the giveaway, but one of my lucky blog readers um, at veronicasblushing.com is gonna read I'm, I'm sorry, it's gonna win one of these hair dryers. Um, so that should be up within the next few weeks. And I'm so excited to share it with you because I've just been enjoying it um, so much. So um, yeah, thank you Chi for sending this because I've just been loving it. Um, and that's everything I have for you all this week. I wish I had more to show you, but um, I guess I'm being good with my shopping. Um, so I will talk to you all in my next video. And I thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.